<laughs> Tomorrow is new comic book day. Oof. There's a lot of books coming out. Oh. We got a lot of people in here. Let's say three. You can pick three. Oh. McClay. Um, all right. Let's see here. My three would be man, there's a lot of good books. There's a lot of good books. Uh okay. Um, I really like <laughs> little Nikki. Get in the flask. Get in the I, really, flask. I really like this <laughs> cover for Monstrous. Ooh. I think that's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I wish it was a variant, but it's not. So and uh Monstrous it's always seemed to be one of those series that you're just hoping for it to get picked up somewhere. It's like one of those really good series that just continues to be good. And um, I love it. So monstrous number 39. I also like um, the uh, Knights of X has a one in 25 variant. That is the uh, homage to uh, days of future past, which I really like. I try That's to pick never up those. Been done before. Yeah, right. And then um, another good one that I really like is the Raza Crimson Rain variants. The only Are those Crimson Rain type covers. Yes, yeah. It's yep. the only Crimson Rain books, to, in my opinion, to pick up. The rest of it is all garbage. This is beautiful, and yeah, the only reason to pick up Crimson Rain, in my opinion. So there's my books. Who's next? Just go down down the road, Alberto Hefe. Oh God! Oh God! Oh no! All right. <laughs> so unfortunately, the thing that I've been working to prevent over the last two or three years Crimson. has happened, and that is the universe has farted out a new planet, and the stars have aligned, and oh. all of a sudden, every series that I'm buying, all covers, all copies, all printings of, are all dropping on the same week. <laughs> so my three for this week are oh man okay star wars crimson rain is out all covers all copies uh that's coming oh. and uh those that's actually the affordable side of things all of those are cover price for me except for like the one in 25 and i got that for a really really good deal too um pokemon style then unfortunately I was gambling on Berserker toning things down because the last two covers kind of chilled out and they only did a couple of variants. Yeah, not so much. We've got like a one in 250. We've got like a one in 200. We've got a one in 150. There's there's just more going on here than what I was anticipating them to do. And I told myself that I was going to stick with Berserker to complete this collection for Berserker, being a completionist collector. And they done did me dirty and went back and doubled up the number of covers they're releasing on issue eight. Why issue eight? Why are we coming in at issue eight? What is happening in this issue that's got them dropping ratio of variants like that? And um, I'm a little concerned. Either way, I'll fight through it. I'll get through it. It's I've made a commitment to order these with my LCS, so they ordered them for me, so I'm going to pay them. And then I actually got to go four. Because something is killing the children dropped as well. And that's the other series that were all covers, all copies, all print. Like, And that's that's a series that I, I'm not quite ready to let go of. And I should have. I told myself two weeks ago to do it. And I should have. That I Aaron do. Campbell, though, man. That cover yeah. is gorgeous. I mean, that, the prison that, covers are nice, too. but It's yeah. kind of when, when you're a completionist collector and you're flipping through a short box of a collection... There's so many prison covers that look almost exactly the same that you start to see doubles and triples and quadruples, and you're like, well, just within something that's killing the children. Yeah, just just within that. So uh, I've, that's that's a really cool cover. I'm happy to pick that up for the collection. But Saga is out tomorrow. That's more yeah. importantly. And Brian K. Vaughn actually posted something on Twitter that's got a lot of people in the Saga reading community a buzz, thinking that something incredible or something amazing or something frightening is going to be happening he basically put out an all points bulletin to pay attention to fiona's amazing artwork and it's got everybody creating stories in their heads wondering what's going to happen to the point where people are putting in spoiler uh ban effects and whatever you want to call it if anybody drops any spoilers on any of like the face saga facebook groups that i'm in or other groups they're getting insta banned and they're going to try to clean up that mess as soon as possible so i'm very curious on what the hell is going to happen tomorrow in Saga. It's going to be like yep. the invincible rape issue. <laughs> oh, oh, that happens like every other issue in Saga. This. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, 
All right. Is that all for you, Hefe? I, I will just yes. say, El Beardo, if you can't get enough money for a roof, you can always just use comics as <laughs> so that's, that's, there you go. that's yeah, the other you, trick. You, you, you got to use the foil covers, the foil covers. Oh, right? oh. Yeah. Just buy that's, that's the trick is we're, we're hiring a contractor to do a roof on our house. And I'm like right there. I'm like, this is going to work. And then this drops. I'm like, crap. You're and like, gotta figure out plan hey, B. Do you like comic books? Do you collect comics? You ever thought about collecting comics? <laughs> I'll trade you. He's, he's going to be like, I'm a little short. Hold on. Pick up phone. What's up? What not? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be live streaming. How much do I still owe you? <laughs> nice. All right. So. Number one on my list uh, is Vermillion, the Behemoth book. It's like uh, it's definitely explicit content, and I don't. What is that about? I don't know. <laughs> like that's that's my problem. Like I Take can't. Yes. I mean, I really don't know. Normally, I can try a preview or something, or I get sent a preview, um, but this one I got nothing on. So I said there's a Slipknot song. In the... <laughs> I think it was at one time, wasn't it? It <laughs> is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So I, I like the cover. I think, I don't know. I think that one could heat up on the secondary market too. FOMO, FOMO may kick in tomorrow afternoon when people can't find them. So absolutely. Well, the one. good thing about stuff like that, I mean, not behemoth is well known. They put out a lot of good comics, but with a lot of other books coming out, what are people going to pass up, not pick up? And then yeah. behemoth still is a small print run. So some stores might not get it. So, yeah, I agree. So, I think that'll be one to watch, one I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, the other one is Gunslinger. I, I, I think that's like, honestly, probably the best written Spawn in a long time. That that series is pretty, it's pretty easy to follow. Normally I have to reread a book four times when it's a Spawn book. Uh, but this one, this one's actually pretty good. And you're getting a new character in this one, Carnivore. I love that it's, cover. Yeah. The, the gun, cool. the smoking gun. Yeah, that one's not bad either, though. Um, so definitely going to pick that up. Spawn, first appearance. Can't can't pass that one. And uh, Bloodstained Teeth, the mm. cover cover B. I know uh, Drew at Wanted Comics has a variant for this as well. I don't yeah, know this is a Micah cover from Wanted yeah. Comics. It's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. But they should have made the color version, that one, that, that one right there. They should have made that the one in twenty five because they made the black and white the one in twenty five, but the color just makes. It I wild. hate when they do that. Yeah, like, it's yeah. like why does the one with less color cost more? The yeah, line art bullshit. Right. Yeah, that's terrible. I mean, you can't even like it's the, the color. That's that's a good cover right there. So I don't know. I'm into the vampire stuff, so I'm looking for the next good one after these Savage Shores, and I'm yet to find it. Uh, so hopefully, this is it. That one, and um, they got another book coming out from Image. I hate this playset; is phenomenal. It's not out tomorrow yet, but coming up. Nice, Ryan. Well, well, uh, I'm going to be getting a second print of Venom Six. Uh, I did forget to order it, so I hope they do get some because they're not really ordering the second prints as much as they were in the last series. So we'll see how that goes. But the second prints have been a lot more. Uh, there has been a lot less than second prints out there. So if that series does go, ends up doing something or getting hot, it'll be nice to have all the second prints. Um, thanks to, uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know, where Bruce and Miba were saying that Alien was out because I do see Alien there. So I'll be picking that one up. I like that one with the alien on top of the car. I think that one looks, that looks pretty cool. You're not. Are you excited for Last Ronin? <laughs> are you excited for Doomsday Clock Ninja Turtles? <laughs> that one. Right there. I see that one. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. They 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 screwed the pooch on that. What is that? Is that, is that a? Um, can you tell what's in? It's, uh, it's a one in twenty-five billion. Yeah, no, I like there. that. I like that cover. I was talking about Last Ronin. They screwed the pooch on. That I didn't cover, see that. So. I, that wasn't in my preview, so I'll probably go for that one once I from there in the morning. Got to be the first thing to get those. The uh, last Ronin is. Hold on, let me pull it up so you guys can there see. There it is. It. Yeah. yeah, there's an Eastman one in ten. Yeah. Too. 
there's a lot of them. There's an Alan Quaw. There's the the Bartling. I like uh, that Bartling Shredder variant. Cool. Yeah. Is that a wolf. Uh, that's Splinter. that's Splinter. Splinter. The Del Auto is pretty. Do you dope. think they delayed it for exclusive variants? Yes. That's a long because delay for a while. For IDW, they were so fucked up internally that they'd put a stop to all exclusive variants. Yeah. If they did, that's even more fucked up. I don't know. Dude, Inhuck uh, Lee did two variants for this. Did Bartman do two as well? I think he did two as well. Jesus. Go down towards the bottom. Is that one? Is that a Bartman right there? Uh, to the right. Up, up. Suyon. Uh, up one more row and to the right. Right there? Yeah. That's Kale New. Oh, okay. It's got that Bartland. That's, that's awesome. like the, Yeah, that's like the cover, the the one that went wild, the line break. Yeah. It's the number yeah. one, yeah. yeah. I, part of me likes, expects to see like the Hamburglar standing back there. <laughs> <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> wow, um, look how bad this one is. Uh, I mean, ooh, it's what? subjective. Yeah, it's subjective. Yeah, it's a headshot variant. Yeah. Look at, oh, right. ooh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that's bad. He looks like a frog. Oh, man, that's bad. Yeah. Wait. Battle, battle toads. Yeah, it's like Kermit variant. got stung by bees. <laughs> this is, is that a life field variant. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's why there's, that's why there's no feet. Feet. <laughs> Change my mind. It's awesome. Oh, jeez. Life field. What a joke. <laughs> <laughs> can't well, even I, uh, I don't care about this turtle crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like turtles. Uh, Silver, <laughs> Silver Surfer, the uh, the the kind of white cover with just a surfer on the front. Yeah, yeah that's one cool. sold out at a lot of some places online. Very variant. Whoa, there's a, a Ivan Rice variant too that looks awesome. You yeah, said it's sold out in some. Yeah, look at the rice, the rice variant. Variant, I, I think This I one is wow, look at that. Holy cow. Yeah. That might be the, the pick of the week right there. It's Spider Man though. I know it looks badass. I feel like Why there's, a killer, Spider -Man? there's a killer silver surfer cover every three months. Yeah, I know. I like that one though. That one was pretty sick though. Yeah. Nothing beats the uh, Thanos, what is it, 14 fourth print or something like that? 15 fourth print. The silver Surfer Black. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that one's cool. Badass Silver Surfer. Thanos, what is it? Which one? F 15, I think. Fourth print. Thanos 14 or 15. Uh, fourth print. <clears throat> the the oh, Fallen nice. one. Why? How about that? That one's pretty cool. I like the Derek. Uh, did Derek 2 do a cover for that one, too? Yes. Uh, Warren Lau. Uh, Derek 2 right here. Here we go. Lau. He, I like his Harley covers. Yeah. I understand you get like kind of burnt out from the Derek Chu and the art germ and the you know punk right. uh, but some of them i like i don't know what that is like this one's here locally in houston in, in a few months doing a signing tony what do you got yeah you know i am i'm going through a i'm going through changes guys <laughs> it's called, <laughs> well a little old for that aren't you <laughs> Is it you changed no, again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, uh, just the the kind of books that I buy, the, how just much I pre-order, what I'm what I'm looking for. I don't know. I'm just I don't know if my tastes are changing or if uh, if I'm just getting burnt out on stuff. But like weeks like this, when there's a million, <laughs> <laughs> when there is a million uh, covers, like it it's it really doesn't interest me as I'm much. Twilquist. Um. <laughs> my my camera's locked. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. good though. We can hear you. We're good. Yeah. Um, you're I do like the cover. Scene. I like the cover that Brian picked out. That monstrous. I I agree with you on monstrous. I think it's kind of like Saga Light. Like if you if you know it, you know it, and you've been waiting for something to happen. Um, I guess if I'm gonna pick a book though, it probably would be a cover play. I like that. Uh, Hulk Grand Design Madness number one that Jim Rugg like green cover. Too. He's his. Uh, it's not that one. It's the cover B, I think. Is it the one where he's like 
I think he needs to do more uh, right there. Yeah. Okay. I think he needs to do more Marvel. That's Jeff covers. Darrow. Is it Darrow? I thought it was Yeah. Rob. Yeah, this is oh, Jeff Darrow. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could tell yeah. Jeff Darrow by all the really tiny, deep, crazy details. Like, yeah. yeah, I love Jeff Darrow, man. This is the McGinnis right here. McGinnis uh, was a great Hulk artist too. Yeah. yeah, that would be a good Marvel masterpieces card. Yeah, this is the Jim Rugg right here. Okay. So, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that's all I got. I'm I'm not I'm I'm lightening up on the on the cover buys on the even even like the series the indie books. I I'm starting to kind of wait till whatever issue three four five. If it's got some heat behind it, I'll check it out. But I'm not going out and buying everything anymore. For now, yeah. I there's a new book from Aftershock coming out tomorrow called Naughty List. Yep. And it's a different take on the origin of Santa Claus. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And there's a... Um, it looks like the Punisher of Santa Claus. What do we got here? Yeah, if you scroll down... <laughs> Harrison Ford. The, the, I like that cover better, the B cut, the 1 in 15. But, uh, yeah, if you read the synopsis for it, and it's written by, like, I think a writer from, like, Sopranos and... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the Punisher yeah. as... as uh, Chris Kringle. Yeah. Chris. So that one. And then, um, have you guys seen this one? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Brian. No, go ahead. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, Richie, shout out to Dollar. Dollar told me about this. He's like, yeah, be, be on the lookout for this one. This one's really good. <laughs> I mean, the, the regular show. cover is good too. Yeah. Who's but... the artist on that? Um, it almost looks rich, like right? rich. So, which rich? Who would that be? Uh, Sabine Rich. So that's the Sabine Rich variant. Okay. Yeah, beyond the limit, Sabine Rich variant. So, yeah, the Carla Cohen is crazy. Read yeah, a picture for me. Uh, Thor number twenty-four, seven hundred fiftieth. Issue of Thor. Is tomorrow. that why the dang thing is nine freaking dollars tomorrow? Yeah. But um God, look the, at the, Malieve, the Malieve cover. Scroll Malieve? down towards the Alex Malieve. It's the white one in the bottom row. Wow. There's a lot of good covers in this. Ooh. Ooh that yeah. is beautiful. It almost looks Damn. like a uh Sidem variant. Yeah, yeah that's a little bit Sidem, a little bit uh Senkovich. Yeah. Yeah, the Sankovic. Sankovich. Cool. Sorry. What is that? Thor Thor what? What number? Thor 24. Uh, 24. Yeah, it's 750th issue, so you got stories. What is it good for? Look at that Hans variant. I love that. Hans and Franz. What is this? Galact is that no, no, it's not Galactus. I thought it was Galactus for a second there. Oh, I can see where you can see that with the little yeah. fluttering of his cape there. Is that a yeah, Shelby that variant? Declan Shelby? Yeah, Shelby right here. It's a Spider Man variant. Oh, so they're doing that stupid thing where it's Spider Man as all the characters oh, like they did for for yeah. uh, Gwen. That's dumb. What the That's hell was stupid. wrong with Thor's face? That guy's statement. Yeah, those are all the what if rejects, is what they Yeah, is. <laughs> exactly. The main cover is not too bad either. Yeah. I hate when they do this. Somebody dead. And then the last one I have is just the cover pick. Dynamite might not have the best books, but they always have great stories. And there's a Draculina number three. There's a um, variant for that. I mean, there's a bunch of covers for it, but the um, I'm going to kill the name. But uh, scroll down some. That is a weird name. Scroll them? The, oh. <laughs> down one more to the left. <laughs> That's like saying you buy Maxim for Rock, the Rock, Rock to Lynn. But kind of I thought that would cover is cool. I mean, I similar to like the Rose Besh stuff and everything. But She's Rose drinking Bush. blood out of a Slurpee. That's awesome. It's Rose and Rose Besh. I know Sosa Micah has, a, I think, a Barbarella cover and some other Dynamites. But 
that those are my picks. And then if you do like Thor, one of my favorite runs, Jason Aaron. There's a Jason Aaron omnibus releasing tomorrow. I'm so that they're going to be doing a signature with him. That was that was the best, right, McClay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. In the middle. That... Wow, look at the Tyndall. Ooh. Look at this. Amy Tent, yeah. And it's not Xenoscope. Holy crap. Nice. That's got detective um uh 880. Yeah, vibes going. That's dope. Yeah. McClay, there's one in the middle right there. Nope, down one. That green one's dope too, but the one underneath that. There's a virgin of that as well. Yeah. Yeah, like Dynamite. I'm tired of virgin variants. I don't like virgin variants anymore. I swear to God, man, I'm so tired of them. Just, uh, I'd rather see. The, I think, I think you, it makes Wait. it looks better when you put a cool trade dress on it. That says it's a one in seven. That seems kind of yeah. odd. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, they do that. yeah, they do that weird. And shit. then they'll have like a one in fifty line art. <laughs> Yeah. Trade dress a one in eleven or something like that. Yeah, one in thirteen. Yeah, here's a one in eleven right here. E. Uh, <laughs> some ballsy art. <laughs> wow, that I doesn't can... look like Morant Michaels art right there. That's... No, that's yeah, because it's not poo or yeah. tigger. It's like Thor. Thor. What? Anyhow, there's some awesome, some some great picks in in the live chat. If you watch on the replay, let us know what you guys are picking up. But uh... 